Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today we're gonna to be doing an initial review and setup of this Reflex Stick by Title Shot Sports. Now, they're the same company that was behind the Speedback platform that used suction cups that I did a review on a couple of months ago. Uh, unfortunately, that is now discontinued, uh, but they now have this new Reflex Stick. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I put everything together, and then we'll go through how well it performs um, and just my initial thoughts of the Reflex Stick. So check it out. Okay, so we have the Reflex Stick by Title Shot Sports, and this is the same company that was behind the Suction Cup Speed Bag platform that you guys may have seen I did a review on. Smaller company based out of Southern California. So before we actually put this together, I'll show you what it comes with, and it's a fairly simple setup. So just to kind of show you the paperwork that it came with, it just says Reflex Stick, um, made in the USA. Congratulations on your Reflex Stick purchase. Go to reflexstick.com for setup video. So it doesn't actually come with paper instructions to install it. Although I'm pretty sure if you're handy enough, you can figure it out. There's not too many parts to assemble, so it's pretty pretty easy to figure out on your own. But if you still can't, you can go to the reflexstick.com website, and there's a video on there. All you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver. That's really the only tool. I actually brought both my Phillips head and my Milwaukee drill, just so it moves a little bit quicker. Warning, the glue is super strong. Do not get it on your finger. So there's gonna be a little bit of gluing. And again, it, it comes with it. So everything you see here is, is included. Um, call or text 909 with questions or concerns. Check for updates before assembling your reflex stick. So there you have it. Uh, so the first thing is gonna be the base. It says reflex stick there. Um, it has four pre-drilled holes with a Made in USA sticker. That's gonna be the base where you're gonna put a minimum, according to Ref uh, Title Shot Sports, uh, a 20 pound weight. That's gonna keep uh, the unit secure. Uh, then you have the base stick right here, or the base shaft that will go into this piece right here. So this actually will screw right there to the pre-drilled holes. It's really heavy duty. This thing probably weighs maybe three to four pounds, I'd say, but this is all steel. You can see it has the bottom with the four holes for the screw. You also have this adjustability screw machine knob right here. And basically this allows you to adjust the height by moving this up and down. This right here is actually what's gonna secure uh, this piece into that. And then you have the upper shaft that comes with the ball. And this is gonna be the part that glues into the bottom shaft, and then you have the ball up top. Um, I believe it's a foam ball, and then it's just covered uh, with duct tape to kind of keep everything clean. Um, duct tape or electrical tape. It looks like a monster tape, but... So there you have it. And then lastly, it comes with a Ziploc bag uh, full of the four screws, and then you also have the super glue that's included. Um, this bag has two prices. If you're local to the area where Title Shot Sports is located in SoCal. You can actually pick this up for $100. If not, it is $129 shipped to your front door. So uh, not a bad price if you're looking for a reflex stick and you just don't wanna go through the, the R&D process of going to like Home Depot or, or wherever you need to go to kind of make one. So you're essentially paying for the ingenuity and, and to kind of remove the guesswork out of making your own and, and picking this one up, which is, re uh, which is already designed and I believe um, they also have a, a patent pending on this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and then let's see how this thing performs. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this base pole to the base of the uh, reflex stick platform. It comes with the four screw holes that's already pre-drilled. Um, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a drill, this comes in handy because you can do it quicker. So I'm just going to go ahead and install this first. Before I actually set each screw into place, or should I say drill it all the way in, I like to make sure I get all screws in. That way you don't strip any out or um, get one that comes in at a, at a bad angle. So it's always good to kind of just start the screws off first. And then from there you can torque them all down. So I'm gonna do that first just to make sure everything is lined up. And there you go. Alright, 
So that's nice and secure. Next is going to be uh, this base pole right here. And this basically just slides into this cast iron or this black pipe. And from here, um, it has a female threaded uh, coupler. So when you screw this down, it's really important to make sure um, that you don't over, well, one, you don't cross thread it, and two, that you don't want to over tighten it. This is basically just to secure this into place so that it holds it in place. And uh, you have that nicely secured. You can use like a small wrench if you want to, but I just use finger tight. And then it also has a Phillips screw right here, which I'll use my screwdriver to tighten that, to lock, to lock this in place so it doesn't just drop down like you see here. So I'll tighten that into place. So that's nice and secure. And doesn't go anywhere. So just trying to, trying to make everything as tight as possible because you know with any kind of reflex or cobra bar, the biggest enemy in any of these kind of devices is going to be a vibration. So the more you can tighten it down, the better. So I'm going to go ahead and push this to the side for now. Next is going to be um, gluing this end and then sliding it into the top right here, into this female end. So you're going to put uh, the bottom of this rod right in there, and then that's it. So one thing is being careful with this since it is super glue, it is um, really strong. So being careful that when you do squeeze this out onto the bottom of this shaft, that you don't squeeze the super glue tube and allow any of it to kind of squirt out. So just be careful and mindful of that when you're doing this. So I'm just going to pop that open. Try to get this super glue all over. And of course, I got some on my fingers. After I just told you guys not to get it on your fingers. Go figure, right? I'm going to go ahead and put this all over. You can see my fingers are getting stuck to it now. And so from here, I'm just going to go ahead and slide it down into the shaft. And that's what's going to basically make it nice and secure. Thankfully, I have a little towel right here I can wipe my fingers off on. And give it a couple of minutes. I'd say maybe like even 30, 30 seconds, and this stuff is going to harden up pretty good. And this shouldn't go anywhere. So all of that super glue is going to start to harden up right down here. And that's going to be nice. So we have all that. I can get rid of the super glue now. Good to go. Go ahead and push this to the side. And then from here, height wise, I'll show you guys the adjustability here in a second. But basically, you can adjust the height of this uh, using this little knob down here. And this knob basically allows you to raise and lower this cast or this black iron pipe. Uh, which will give you the adjustability of the height. And we'll go over how high you can go with this. So next, before I start using it, I'm going to go, go ahead and get me... I'm going to start off with maybe my 15-pound kettlebell just to see how much, or should I say, the least amount of weight it'll take, um, you know, with as far as the preventing as much vibration. If I need to go up in weight, we'll add more weight to it. But we'll start off with a 15-pound kettlebell and then go from there. So check it out. Okay, so here's the reflex stick fully assembled. We'll just start from the top to the bottom just to kind of show you guys once again uh, what this thing is assembled of. So you have a, a ball at the very top. It's a pretty firm foam ball that's about six inches in diameter um, and it is covered in what looks to be some kind of like duct tape or heavy duty tape. I believe this rod right here is actually made out of, a, a, out of fiberglass. It kind of reminds me of like electrical fishing rod that electricians use to fish wires when they build homes or remodel homes. So you have this rod right here that goes into this white coupler that's female. That's where I put the glue. And then from here, this bottom rod goes into this black uh, steel pipe. And it has a red coupler right here that screws in to kind of lock it in place, as well as this Phillips screw right here to hold this rod to the black pipe. From here, you go down into the blue, black, uh, the blue uh, steel pipe as well. 
it has four screws that connects it to the base. The nice thing about this base is that it has this big piece of wood and has almost, I guess you could say it's like a big platform where you can put, you know, Olympic size weights on it, kettlebells, and they recommend a minimum of 20 pounds. I mean, you could, I mean, if you wanted to, if you had some cinder blocks, you know, laying in your backyard and you, you weren't doing anything with them, you can literally put a couple of cinder blocks on here and, and hold it down. So I like the fact that unlike some other Cobra bags where the base you need to kind of like, it has to have a, a round base to go over it because there's so much vibration. Um, this allows you just to kind of put something on there. The other good thing about this compared to a standard Cobra bag is that um, you don't have a lot of mass, meaning that there's not this big, big rod with this huge spring with this ball at the top. So you have a lot more of mass moving when it's moving around. So because of that, you get less vibration and you don't need a ton of weight as you would with a standard Cobra bag. Like with my Cobra bag, you have to have like a water filled base that's like a hundred pounds or even like the title of the ringside, you need a lot of weight to keep it from vibrating when you punch the bag. So I do like the fact that you don't need it with this. So you can see there, it has the height adjustable knob. I'm gonna unscrew it. At its lowest setting, I'm about five foot eight. You can see that the ball is right at like my mouth area. So it's a pretty good size really for any grown adult, um, if you wanna call it that. And then height wise, you can see it stops. It actually has a stopper, so you can't just pull it all the way out. Right here at the, at the maximum height, I'd say that's probably like six two maybe 6'3". Um, so again, you have a good range of height to choose from, you know, based on, on, on your height. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right about where my height is at, 5'8". I'm gonna go ahead and screw this in. And then um, I only have a 15 pound kettlebell, so we'll start off with this. I'll try to keep it close to the base so it reduces vibration. We'll put on these, uh, these little bag gloves I have, these cheap bag gloves, and we'll hit this ball and see how it feels. And, Kind of my initial thoughts on how it performs. So there's definitely some vibration with this 15 pound weight on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go have to go up and wait for sure. I mean, it still performs, but for it to perform even better. The target, or should I say the ball, is a good size. It's not too large, it's not too small, but it really forces you to work on precision. And it has a good amount of ref reflex and a rebound where you can get off consecutive shots and kind of string combinations together. Um, it doesn't feel like it's super slow to where you have to kind of wait for it. So you, you can do uh, basically a good amount of combinations, work on your timing and your precision, um, just like you would with a regular Cobra bag or even a double end bag. Excellent speed, feels good, but uh, yeah, a little bit too much vibration. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this kettlebell off and put on this 35 pound weight. Cut my finger off here, it doesn't have a rip on it. So that's 35 pounds right there. Let's see how it performs now with this added weight. So this is, that was 15, this is 35, so it's more than double the weight. Oh yeah. That's nice. It has a nice solid feel. No more vibration. Has a good rebound, you can work on it. Work on your defense, your timing. Oop, missed it. Man, that's great. I love it. This thing performs real nice, man. Um, 
15 pounds, definitely too light. Uh, I got a 35 pound weight. I'm assuming maybe a 25 would work too. Uh, but if you don't, again, I'm sure you can find stuff around the house. Even if you have like a Home Depot bucket, fill it up with some water and uh, put it on here and that will definitely hold it down. Maybe just put like a lid on it. Um, but definitely impressed. I mean, this is um, pretty ingenious as far as just how they went about developing this. And um, for the price of $129 shipped, I think this is a really solid deal. If, if you're local in the Southern California area and, and you contact uh, Title Shot Sports and you happen to be close by, um, it's only $99, so $100. Um, but I definitely love it. I mean, if, especially if you're not handy or if you just don't want to go through the hassle of trying to build your own reflex stick and just have everything already provided, a, a kit, so to speak, um, that you could put together, you know it works, um, then this is definitely a good alternative. Um, and uh, I definitely think it performs really nicely. So, you know, I'll be using this for the next couple of weeks and then I'll do another review as far as how well it's held up, it's performed well, if I've had any issues with it, um, and give you guys a full review. But my initial thoughts are it's, it's really cool and it performs really nicely. I mean, compared to like the Cobra bag and even the double end bag, I feel like it performs and has excellent speed. I feel that like it's a little bit more for precision because the ball is a little bit smaller. But as far as the, the springiness of this, uh, of this actual rod right here, it has a good amount of springiness. So if you're looking to really work on that, that defense and, and, and moving your head, um, you'll definitely get it from this. So if you guys have any questions or comments, as usual, make sure you leave them down below in the comments box. Um, I'll put the link in the description box to the title, sport, uh, title shop website, excuse me. Um, and from there, you guys can see uh, that they offer this and they have other, other products you can choose from as well. So appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys later. Take care.